I'm Jacob Lazo and I'm uh, 20, 20 years old. I'm from Bangalore. Uh, I'm a dual degree student. I'm pursuing another degree uh, in BTEC in Information Science and Engineering from uh, University of Vishweshwara College of Engineering, uh, Bangalore. First of all, I'd like to thank God for this great opportunity and my uh, parents for being there with me. And I would like to thank the entire team of uh, ITM who has been behind the scenes working uh, for this degree uh, day and night, uh, responding to our emails and all our correspondences with them. What m motivated me? Um, I did my J mains one, mains two, and uh, J advance also. Uh, IT was always uh, an aim for me. And uh, at the ITM BS degree gave me the opportunity to uh, pursue my dream. It was a conscious de decision taken by me to pursue my ITM degree uh, along with my BTEC degree. And uh, there'll be always clashes, simultaneous deadlines of projects, vivas, uh, end term examinations, quiz one, quiz two. Uh, but self discipline and time management, I think with those two, uh, help me persevere and uh, come to what I am today. What was my favorite was doing the examinations and OPPs uh, because uh, they help me. Uh, here it's all MCQs and MSQs where either one option is correct or multiple options are correct. And there's no return uh, until the degree level. So uh, it's, it's it's totally different from a, from other degrees. and. Uh, you get to and you have high weightage per question uh so each question can be of six marks or even one mark uh, and you lose it completely or use it partially based on what you select so uh using your mind and that was really nice it's a really nice experience just like the je advanced uh, examination the BDM project was uh, done at uh, trilife hospital Actually, we met with the CEO, Dr. Shafiq, and uh, Dr. Shafiq uh, put me with his person, the uh, HR professional. And she gave me, uh, she told me the OPD section and uh, the in-house patients, both uh, are linked to the uh, the agents, the call center section. And this, uh, you want, you have to find out what's the issue in both the places. So it's like total open statement and it's up to me to find out the problem statements and so on and uh, uh, the face of the hospital is always the uh, the the call center so there when you go there you find out so uh, there's no data given as such to me and all the data had to be procured by me and uh, uh, by hand and uh, through me this in this project we actually set up the whole data system so where uh, every call is measured and numbered and so on uh, appro approximately i think 20 percentage of the dropped calls missed calls were uh, uh, were a huge number actually which was lost by the hospital the missed calls and these calls uh, are now tracked so with a click of a button and then uh, i think uh, one of the few hospitals in uh, bangalore to use the queue system so this is a queue system wherein every person who comes into the hospital will get uh, a token and the token will be displayed on the screen. And based on that, uh, the, 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 the doctor, the staff in the, on the floor and the patients, all three on the same phase. Uh, uh, phase. So now nothing of that happens. Um, it's you come, you get your token, it's on the screen, your, the doctor also has a list of them. As soon as the doctor approves that uh, I'm free now, then you go in and then, so it's totally fixed. So, uh, so many things were set into place and uh, now everything is automated. Uh, you don't have to use a phone as such to call. Uh, through the uh, computers, with the click of a button, you get to call back the uh, patients and so on. I met with the software development team, uh, which is in house in the hospital, and I gave them all the suggestions: what should you, what should be done, could could this be done, uh, and so on. So it was, I had to go there in place and sit for around a lot of a lot of days and uh, understand the whole system. Uh, I think that is what made the this project and not only the project but 
this experience uh, totally different from others because I had to be there. Uh, unlike other projects where you could sit at home and do here, you, I had to be on the spot and do this. So that was nice. Mm -hmm.